all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so today we are going to take a look at messages from your person so we're going to see what is it that they want to say to you what is on their mind right now um so this could be for those of you who are you know potentially engaged with this person but you're not quite sure like what's going on um this can also be for those of you who are separated from your person and you want to find out where their head is at and kind of what's going on with them at this point in time Okay, so we're going to go into that. I'm going to start off with the messages and then I'm going to follow up with <laughs> oracles and then tarot as well. Okay. All right, so let's take a look and see. In addition, if you guys want to book a personal reading, I do have a promotion going on. It'll be in the description box. So what does this person want to say? What do they have to say to you? What is it that they've been holding back that they haven't been expressing? I want to wine and dine you. So this person right now has been thinking a lot about wanting to take you out, wanting to, you know, really spend time with you. Like I'm getting here, this person wants to spend a lot of quality time with you and they really want to impress you as well. I just looked up and it was a 111. That could be significant for some of you guys. But yeah, I'm getting that this person feels like they really want to impress you. Yeah, see, I want to see you more. Exactly. So for those of you who are kind of like talking to this person, um, they just want to see you more. Like they want more of you. They want more of your time. Um, for those of you who are not with this person at all, or you guys are separated or no communication, all they're thinking about and all they want to say to you is they just want to see you, right? They want to see your face. They want to spend time with you in person um they want to take you out i feel like they want to show you a good time so we're getting positive energy so far here let's see what's coming through i'm working on my business i want to make you proud see what i'm saying with this whole theme of like wanting to impress you that's what this person is thinking a lot about right now so i feel like because this person wants to impress you it must mean that they're seeing you as someone very high value like this person is really like okay i need to up my game for this person like i need to make sure that i'm at my best so yeah they're working on their business or they're working in their career so that they can really make you proud like this person really wants to take you out and just you know, give you the best is really what I'm getting. Let's see. Yeah, I'm so crazy about you. This is such cute energy. Okay, so I'm gonna go through with the tarot and we're gonna get some clarity on all of this. But yeah, you guys, you have someone who is really, 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 really crazy about you. Like they feel that you're like you're literally inspiring this person to be the best version of themselves. And they're really feeling this desire to impress you. So I'm feeling like this person is already at a pretty good place in their life, but they're just like, okay, I want to make sure that I'm perfect. So that way I can really, you know, um, wine and dine, really take this person out. And I think it goes further than that. I feel like it's, it's more about like this person wants to make sure that if you guys are together, that you're getting the best and they want to be the best for you. Okay. So let's clarify. I want to see you more. We have the four of pentacles. You guys can see that. I want to wine and dine you. We have the page of cups. I'm working on my business. We have the page of swords in reverse. And I'm so crazy about you. We have the justice card in reverse. Okay, so interesting. <laughs> what I'm feeling from this is that this to me feels like someone who actually has been holding back for a while from you so this seems like more like they've been thinking about this but they haven't been acting on this have they um because it's interesting because we have i want to see you more and then the four of pentacles is here so they're not letting you know this they're not telling you this and in fact they're actually keeping this to themselves they've been holding back and it's like not freely giving to you even though they want to see you more um for some of you guys, this is like earlier stages of knowing this person. For others of you, with the pages, this feels like someone who maybe not, who's been having a problem like with their action. Um, I don't want to say immature because I'm not feeling like it's immature. I'm just getting that it's either like the early stages or when it comes to them actually taking action, maybe they haven't progressed to that point yet. Um... I'm also feeling here like something happened between the two of you 
and they're feeling like maybe the situation isn't really balanced like they feel like maybe they need to apologize to you or they really feel like they need to step up and like fix things or put in their part if that makes sense like this person is really feeling that pressure of like i need to do something like i need to put in an effort or put something towards this connection let's see yeah okay there's something that happened between the two of you isn't there ten of swords i think something happened with the communication between the two of you and they're feeling guilt about this they feel a lot of guilt about what happened with the communication ten of swords we have the hierophant And we got the tower in reverse. This person might have got freaked out with the thought of commitment and might have done something in terms of communication or not even commitment. It could even just been that they started to get freaked out about the idea of like just committing even to this situation. I'm not saying committing like in terms of a relationship. I just mean like committing to all of these things that they're thinking about because this person is thinking about like, I want to take you out. I want to impress you. Da 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 but when they think about actually committing to doing that i think it freaks them out and they might have done something with the communication that wasn't fair and they feel like they need to apologize but i feel like instead of apologizing what they want to do is just like impress you like they want to make a gesture that is pretty much saying like here i'm sorry and i want to work on this like instead of actually saying that they want to make a gesture that's going to kind of express that apology okay what is it this person wants to say Sorry, it's just hard to grab these cards sometimes because they don't fly out like normal cards. We have, I need more from you, okay? Um, I just kind of feel like this, I read this card in two different ways. It could be one, like, I need you to put in more work. But I think what this is, is like, I feel like this person, like, they need more of you is kind of what I'm actually feeling from this card. It's like, I want to see you more. I need more. Like, we're getting like more, 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 more. This person is really feeling, um like not void but they feel like what's that word and i don't want to say lack it's not lack they're not feeling like they're getting enough of you like they need more of you so i don't know if you guys have pulled back your energy but they're getting this like strong craving for you like they're feeling a craving like they're craving you it's like you know when you haven't had water in forever and then you finally see a fountain and you just go crazy like and you've had these cravings and cravings and cravings because you haven't had it for so long so i'm seeing here that a lot of you may have pulled back your energy and now this person is like really craving you and just wanting so much of you we have oh okay so we have the third party knows about you. So this message may not resonate with everyone, but it is coming out. So it's going to be significant for a lot of you guys. So this could also be the issue, which I was going to say, but I didn't. So when this higher font came out, I was actually kind of feeling like maybe someone's already committed um, or maybe someone's already married. And that could also be what's playing a role in this person not really taking action. So that could definitely be the case. So this person may be dealing with someone else. So let's get some clarity on this. Third party knows. If you know that there's no third party, just disregard this section of the reading. But let's clarify for those of you who know that this person is already involved with someone else. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. This person, so the person that they're with knows that they have romantic feelings for you. Ooh, yikes. The person that they're with let me say that again sorry this palo santos is like cutting me in the throat um this person that they're with knows that they have romantic feelings for you so i don't know if if they found out or if this person just told them the five of pentacles in reverse for some of you they may be trying to leave this other person yeah they're trying to leave this other person because it's now out like for those of you who know that this person is already involved it's now maybe it was a secret like maybe this person was keeping their feelings for you like a secret or hidden and now it's out in the open so the person that they're with knows that they have romantic feelings for you 
and now it's a matter of trying to get out of this connection which is heartbreaking for them and I also feel like it's heartbreaking for this other person too so this could be something that maybe puts a delay in this so yes they want more of you but also keep in mind that they may need to just take some time to process another connection that is coming to an end or may maybe has already ended for some of you guys maybe this person has already put an end to this third party but the message that i'm mainly getting is that um this person has like essentially it's been revealed to them okay and then we have i've been sleeping with someone else which again that's what i'm getting i just feel like I don't know if this is currently, but I just feel like, yes, there's been someone else involved here. Like, for some of you, it may not be that they're actually sleeping with this third party still, but I'm just getting that, it could even just be that they're sleeping in the bed with someone else, but I'm just feeling that there is someone else that is blocking this person from coming forward towards you. And so they're trying to overcome this. And I wasn't ready before, but I am now. So yeah, I feel like in the past, this person maybe was on the fence, maybe because of this. Um... But now they're, like, this person does feel very ready. Like, they do feel very crazy about you. But they need to clear out these blocks. Okay, what are their messages for you? The star in reverse. They need more time to heal, okay? We have Aquarius energy here. Because the star is in reverse, this person needs more time for healing. What do they want to say to you? See? Third party. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Like, they need to heal from this third party. So, yes, they want to see you more. They want more of you, 100%. I just looked up and it was 11-11, so that could be significant as well. But, okay, this message is very clear. This person does want more of you. They really, really, really want to impress you because they feel like you are someone who deserves that. But at the same time, too, they are cutting ties with someone else, Okay. And this is still in their energy, big time. And they need time to heal from it. So what I'm getting is this third party knows about you. It's not a secret. It's out in the open. They have discussed it. They've talked about it. Okay, like it's out there. Now they need to figure out how to process this and how to actually just move on from this so that they're not going to come into this connection with issues and maybe that's what they need to maybe that's what they want to apologize for like maybe they want to apologize to you because they know they couldn't like fully give to you for some of you guys maybe they didn't communicate that well with you because they were feeling guilt about like a third party they didn't want to like create a love triangle so they know they need to make things right and i feel like they will and it's going to be a gesture but i feel like this person needs time to potentially close out something because if not I mean obviously this third party energy is coming through for a reason like it went like it's coming through we've had third party twice now like the word third party specifically so you know it's coming through for a reason and we have I'm so madly in love with you so this person has very strong feelings for you and they know that they do some of you guys may know this as well and then we have, I don't understand why you love me. So they may be carrying insecurities from their past relationship as well. So it's like, they also know that you have feelings for them. So it's not like, like they know. They know that the feelings are reciprocated. Um, the love is mutual. But they question like, why do you love me? This is an insecurity that they have. Five, yeah, this is because of their past. It's because they've been hurt in the past. And they carry insecurities. Yeah, it's a fear. Okay. Um, but this person does feel very strongly for you. Very. Like, the main message that I'm getting is that they're really craving you. Like, they're feeling like, oh my god, I just want to be with this person, like, right now. But they also recognize that they have stuff that they need to take care of first. And the other message is that they really want to impress you. That's the other thing. Okay? So, those are the messages. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, definitely leave a comment down below. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is in the description box and there is a promotion going on, okay? But I'm sending you guys absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.